All right, here we go. Five, two, five, three, and five, four. The book, for some reason, breaks them up into tangent and then cosine and sine differently. I'm doing them all at the same time, okay, because it's easier if you learn them all at the same time. All right, we're doing trig functions, which I looked up on Wikipedia this morning, said it's been around 1,500 years. Okay, this is not something new. Sine, cosine, and tangent. Trig functions have been around for a long time. Here we go. Trig functions that we're dealing with are going to be, it's a ratio of a right triangle's sides and angles. Okay, here's a right triangle. We have two acute angles, angle A and angle B are acute angles of the right triangle. Angle A and angle B have to add up to what? 90 degrees. If this one's 90, then these two have to add to 90 because the total is what? 180. Any triangle, the total is 180, the sum of the interior angle. So, this one's 20, this one's 70, this one's 50, this one's 40, this one's 89, this one's 1. They have to add up to 90. If I'm talking about angle A, and I focus on just one angle, I need to be able to label the three sides of the triangle in relation to angle A. This angle, I'm sorry, this side here in relation to angle A is the opposite side. It is opposite of angle A. This is also in line with what we did yesterday. This side here is adjacent to angle A. It helps make angle A. If you park adjacent to someone in the parking lot, then you're next to them. Okay? This side here, opposite of the 90 degree angle, is all, you already know the name of it. What is it? Hypotenuse. Very good. And it's always the hypotenuse. This side here is always the hypotenuse, whether we're talking about angle A or we're talking about angle B. It's always the hypotenuse. Some students like to put a little H there immediately when they're doing the problem so that they know uh, that that's the hypotenuse. Okay, they, they do better if you put a little H. Okay, questions so far? Alright, there's three trig functions. Sine, cosine, and tangent. We're going to start off with sine. Okay? Don't say sin. It's actually S-I-N-E, and we abbreviate it as sine. It is sine. Don't say sin. The sine of angle A is a ratio. We don't know angle A, therefore we're putting an A in there for now. The sine of angle A, it's a ratio. It is always the same ratio. It's always the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Opposite over hypotenuse. This is one of those things you're going to have to burn in your memory and memorize tonight, whether it be through flashcards, whether it be through you know, notes, uh, quizzing with somebody else, rewriting your notes, looking at the book. Sine, cosine, and tangent. Over here, I'm going to do just a nice little easy problem to kind of go along at the same time so that you can see. Can you see? Not too far away. You see it over there? It's okay. okay. Uh, and we got three, four, five, which we know is a nice, simple tri right triangle. The sine of angle A here, if it's opposite over hypotenuse, what is that going to be? What is the sine of angle A going to be? 4 over 5. There you go. It's a ratio. Just 4 over 5. That's all I'm looking for in the answer. Okay, you with me so far? We've got two more to go. Alright, cosine. Cosine is actually written like this. We just abbreviate it COS. So if I'm talking about the cosine of angle A, I need to know what the ratio is. Anybody know? Mitchell? Very good. Jason's over hypotenuse. Very good. Adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the ratio. Okay? If I'm talking about angle A, here's the adjacent side next to it, and the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. So in my little example over here, what would the cosine of angle A be? Three over five. Very good. You with me so far? Alright, we got one more to go. What is it? Tangent, abbreviated like T-A-N. Very good. Bless you. The tangent of angle A is your last trig function. 
the rule or the formula uh, is very good. Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. Okay, that is the rule. Who was it? Good job. Who did you say? I thought it was good. All right, tangent. Tangent of angle A. Remember your own tape. So tangent of angle A. If we're looking at our nice simple one here. Here's angle A. Here's opposite. Here's adjacent. What is the tangent of angle A? Four over three. Okay. Questions. So two things. We have our rules here. How are we going to memorize this? How are we going to remember this? Okay, that's one way. I have a mnemonic device, a way of saying them so that you'll memorize them. Jenny, do you know it? Very good. Sakatoa, Sakatoa. S O A, I'm saying S O H C A H T O A. Sakatoa. Say it. Sakatoa. Write it down. How is that going to help you memorize it? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Write that down. Have that in your notes. Can the opposite and adjacent be in different places? If I switch yeah. and I start talking about angle B, then, then now this one is the opposite side and this one is the adjacent side. How do you know okay. which way to go with the adjacent? Like, how come you didn't go to the H? Because it's always an hypotenuse. Adjacent is the, the hypotenuse is always opposite of the right angle. Okay, so you never go towards that one adjacent. Okay. Correct. All right. Quiet, please. All right, this is very important. Write this down. If the problem gives you all three sides of the triangle, then the answer is a ratio. And this will make more sense in a little bit when we do some that aren't a ratio. But I want you to have that written down in your notes and, and understand it. This is a note card. If the problem gives you all three sides of the triangle, there's no unknowns. If I tell you 5, 12, and 13, I know all three sides. I'm not trying to find a side. So now I'm just saying, can you tell me the trig functions, the six trig functions, of this triangle and each one of them is going to be a ratio okay so write these down the sine of angle a cosine of angle a the tan of angle a uh, the sine of angle b the cosine of angle b and the tan of angle b can you tell me all six trig functions what's the answer going to look like it's a ratio it's a it's a fraction. It's A over B. It's, uh, bless you. It's 4 over 5, 3 over 5, something like that. All right, so let's do these. What is the sine? We're talking about angle A. What is the sine of angle A? Well, sine equals what? Opposite over hypotenuse. You don't know it today, but by tomorrow you need to know it. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So there's opposite. There's hypotenuse. So the answer is 12 over 13. Okay. What about the cosine of angle A? Well, here's angle A, here's adjacent, here's hypotenuse. Like I said, put a little H there to help you. 13 is always your hypotenuse. So the answer would be 5 over 13. You with me? Tangent of angle A. Here's angle A. The tangent of angle A would be what? Opposite over adjacent. So the answer would be 12 over over 5. Opposite over adjacent. Can we simplify these? Yes. If the answer, if your fraction was 10, uh, 8 over 10, you would most definitely cancel and get 4 over 5. 
Okay. Hold on. 